Good morning, friends and fellow farmers. It's, oh, it's Leah's birthday. The Leah's birthday. Hello, kiddo. Good morning. Now, do these, how frequently does the tea come back in, is what I wonder now. It must be pretty common then. Wow, okay, that's amazing if that's the case. So it gives us that nice, that bump on our uh, farming ability. Doesn't give us extra speed. Good morning, Penny. I have to go into town today. Don't work too hard. Need something other than green tea for lunch. I, I will. I will. It's the novelty. It's, you know, you. it's new. It's a new thing. She's so tired of my novelties. Novelties. Uh, let's put these away. And what else do we have? Right, we were doing some recycling last time, it looks like. I love how we can just tell what we were doing by the realm of junk I have. Bread, why do I... Oh, right, because I was rummaging. I'm going to put my garbage bread here. Okay, so we've got two cups of that delicious coffee. I'm just going to save that in there. I don't think we need to worry about it for the moment. That's going to be brewing away still for a while. That Christmas tree it takes up about the right amount of space. Okay, James, someone dropped you off at the clinic. Oh, right, because we what, passed out in our yard. Ugh, the bills, the bills. No wonder it's, it, thank goodness we're a millionaire. Leah's having a salad this year. Leah's having a salad. It is so much better than the wine I used to give her. Because I assumed, I was like, oh, I guess she just drinks wine. But no, she's eating salad. I hope she's eating some other stuff other than just salad. Like it isn't, you know, wine and salad. That doesn't seem like a, that seems like a terrible idea. Just a bad mix. Uh, was it this one? No, up here? Up here. Yes, there we go. There's my little Escar gods. My little snails. Hmm. Um, right, we got recycling. And these. Uh, was that right? Yeah, right shoot. No, I don't want to reclaim them. For Pete's sakes. Go back. <laughs> Life is good. All right. No, I, uh, after operating on the same, uh, office chair, I, I don't even know how long I had my, my chair. I had a chair probably longer than some of you are alive. Uh, I don't know. A very, very, very long time. Uh, over 20 years for sure. Anyway, I finally got rid of, uh, my office chair. And, uh, oh, what am I looking for? I'm looking for seeds. They're not in here. Um, and what, uh, I ended up deciding to do is I got a, uh, a chair. It's like a, there's no seats here. What is this? What is this? Uh, is this, where do I store them? Oh, right. <laughs> like, where do I store those now? How about in the red thing? There we go. I don't put my, actually the, uh, the shoots in there while I'm at it. Perfect. So I decided to get a wobble chair, which is like a stool. I, you know, like I'm not into gaming stuff at all. I have like, yeah, you know, I've, I have gamer-ish things, gamer adjacent things. I like my mouse is a gaming mouse. It's very nice and light and convenient. I like my keyboard, which is, you know, a mechanical keyboard. And I, but it's like absolutely minimal. There's none of this red RGB stuff going on. It's very, very low key because I'm not into the whole aesthetic of gaming. And uh, so I, I got a wobble chair, which is like the least gamery chair, I think. I think that's what I ended up choosing to go with. <laughs> the least gamery chair. It is uh, it's just a, it's a stool and it wobbles around. And if I'm, if you hear a loud thud, like if just suddenly it goes quiet except for a big boom, and then uh, you hear me crying for help, it's because I've fallen off. Because I've accidentally tipped it over. When I sat on it, I did almost go uh, right over earlier. I've got to learn to be careful. <laughs> it's going to take an adjustment period. And it hurts like heck. My back is killing me. But that's good. That means that the chair is doing its job. So I'll, I'll have a back of steel. Or at least aluminum. Or maybe even like a low grade copper. Before long. Okay, so let's go out to the quarry. I'm going to forget all this other stuff. There's too much going on. But I I wonder if our jade might be up. Let's give our kitty cat some water. Hello there, there, little kitty cat. Oh, that. I trapped myself. He, I don't know how he ended up in the barrel. It just, somehow, somehow he ended up in the barrel. Pam, I gotta go see Leah. I can't forget to do that. What day of the week is Tuesday? 
It is Tuesday. Oh no, I see my jade is not up yet, so I'm going to wait for the jade to come up. There is no point in me doing this otherwise. Uh, I'm going to go, I guess, to town. Check the garbage. And then we'll just walk straight across over to Leia's. I don't know what her schedule is on a day like today. I mean, it's freezing out. Uh, Penny, definitely not checking the garbage. Also, if you find a garbage hat, uh, is Mary going to notice? See, I don't, yeah, I don't think he caught me. I don't know what the proximity is on these things. Oh, hey, Evelyn, good to see you. Oh, no, you want, okay, you that way? That way, all right. If everybody would just keep on moving, I could check on the old can of garbage here. Oh, it's Tuesday, it's workout o'clock. Is Leah gonna be, did she come up for that? Hey, Robin, what's up? Hey, Abigail. Oh my goodness. I totally forget if Leah comes in. Does Leah join you guys? You ladies, you're not guys. I don't recall. Uh, Marnie shows up here, doesn't she? All right, all right. Stow that away. Just casually throwing a salad out there. Hey, hey, look at eating. I'm bringing the healthy stuff here. Bringing the healthy stuff. Salad, anybody care for a wholesome and nutritious? No, nobody's into the salad. I get it. All right, I'm going to leave you all because I don't think Leah's coming. I really don't remember if Leah takes part in this. Mayor. Feels like a weird thing to call somebody. Like, just to have to casually refer to them by their, their job title. Mayor. Uh, okay. Oh, hello. So you're not you're not you're not taking part. All right. Well, hello. I've got something for you here. Boom. A birthday gift. That's very kind of you. I love it. It gets pretty cold in my little cabin. I just snuggle up under a huge blanket, and I'm okay. All right. That's uh, that's something. There are these new paintings. Mostly landscapes and studies of nature. That's very nice. Yeah. The nice cedar smell. How to deal with overbearing people. I uh, I just I. Yeah, I feel for Leah. No messages. <laughs> oh, what do we got going on here? What's on the table? Oh, it's a placemat. Never mind. I thought it was something cool. Okay, what do we got on the wall? What is that? Alright, I guess that's it? Is there nothing else? Yeah, no. I'm gonna leave her alone now. I, she doesn't even notice me. Alright. So, oh, hey, how's it going, slimes? Very nice. Oh, look at them. Look at them go. Aw, you two are cute. Hey, Jazz. Uh, all right, I don't know what, oh, what what's going to come of this. Oh, no, now we got, oh, there we go. <laughs> I feel like I need to do a, like, a... Uh, which one is it, David or Richard Attenborough? I don't remember which is which. The brother that was an uh, actor director, and which one was a uh, doctor documentarian? I don't recall. The two slimes. That's all. That's all I can do. He's too raspy for me. Okay. Uh, it must have been hard having uh, being the Attenborough parents, and just like you know, I guess you got two amazing kids, but like. Well, do they vie for attention? Do they want to know which one is the best? Do they just accept that they're both pretty good? Perhaps. No, nope, close that gate. Wow, that's desolate. All those trees are desolate. Okay, let's go chop this stuff up into some usable wood. Um, all right, we did wine last time. I was trying to remember what we were on about here. All right, let's put these in here. Okay, let's dump off. There we go. Wow, that's a pile of fish. Uh, let's put, I guess we'll go. Yeah, that's right. Oh, I see where I was at. Okay, I got it. I got it. I had so many CDs and so much garbage. That's what I was working on. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Is that? No, nine more. 
Oh, uh, almost. Almost. 51 bars of... It's so absurd. So absurd. I didn't have wood in here, did I? No. The remnants of things. The remnants of things. Alright, well, you know, I'm going to instead stand around. Because I'll come back and deal with that. We'll go dump off all of our things here. Let's go dump our row off. Wow, well, okay, that's a decent amount of row. It's I'm going to just go row crazy at some point. I mean, it takes so much. I, I don't feel any uh, compunction to really be hurrying with it. Uh, we may as well throw the stuff in here, though. Okay, what do we got? Uh, right, we got... And then a pile of eggs. Okay, so let's start out with the fluff. Okay, and then we'll go with the eggs. Alright. And then do I... Oh, there we go. We got four more. Is that it? Do, do I seriously not have any more eggs? Wow. Huh. Alright. And we can use most of that up, can't we? There we go. All that dairy's gone. And back to making corn oil. It, got, it just got too exciting. I always try to get out here before it gets too crazy. I don't even know how we'd get work done. We'd just be dancing in here all day. Where's the farmer? Oh, he's, he seems to be dancing in his shed. That's what farmers do. Okay. Um, do, 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 do. There's the corn. There's the fluff. And we'll go ditch everything else. Yeah, it goes, I like how it just goes intensely quiet. And it's like, silence. Quiet, the farmer's working. Uh, we'll keep all the oil, get rid of the meal, get rid of the bars, uh, mayonnaise. Nobody wants that. Somebody wants that. People in my family like, we eat vegan mayonnaise, and they, they like that stuff. I do not care for it. I never liked any form of mayonnaise at all. That's. That is the uh, that is my ongoing thread I think through this whole game is uh, I just say no to the mayonnaise. Just say no to the mayonnaise. Let's put that gold in now that we have enough here to make it worth our. Oh, that was three bars. I felt like we had more. I thought we were gonna have like a whole ton. Nope. Um, I guess we could smelt down a little bit of iridium. I don't know what I'm gonna use it for per se. Okay, we'll dump all that off, and what are we on for wood? We got th almost 3,000 wood. That's quite good. Uh, yeah, we got some more tree fertilizer. We should use that up. Okay, so yeah, we have tons. We've got like another 100 uh, crab pots we could do, but we don't have the copper for that yet. And we are also able to, what else can we... The bee houses. Oh man, you need coal for that. <laughs> oh my gosh. So let's go and tend to uh, things out in the uh, the desert. Let's go see how everything's going out here. Okay, not bad. Uh, it's looking good. Okay, we're gonna help help the growth cycle out out here. So this doesn't take a bill. Did I just put some on those worms? I think I did. Those worms are now gonna speedy grow. Gonna be gigantic dune worms in minutes. That'd be kind of. Uh, I wanted to say horrifying, but that'd be fantastic. The desert would just be a terrifying place. Come for the dune worms. Stay for the gambling. Welcome to the Calico Desert. They could definitely turn that into a positive. No, no more trees out here. Oh yeah, here we go. Here's a couple. Cutting down some palm trees. Whatever. Tons of wood. Alright. We'll gather our stuff. It just I get tired of looking at it. Bobbing there for attention. Come on. Oak resin that's now aged. It's been sitting here for years. Alright.
There we go. And the only thing new I have in, uh, in terms of thinking of like what was new in terms of movies is I've watched what ha whatever happened to Baby Jane. For the I thought I had seen it. I have I clearly had never seen it, or I would have remembered it. Uh, that movie is horrifying. <laughs> it's so good. Like uh, definitely one of my my new top like uh, non horrifying horror movies. Like if that makes sense. It's not like a bloody vicious mess, but it's just it's kind of messed up. Um, I mean, it's like, you know, relatively kid-friendly. It's not, there's nothing super graphic except somebody, it's implied that somebody's uh, beaten to death with a hammer very, very quickly. Um, other than that, <laughs> it's, it's totally good. It's a really good movie. I was super blown away. I love when I watch a movie that I, like, have thought I've seen, because I was like, no, nah, I must have seen that. Definitely didn't see it. And really glad I finally did. That was a, a delight. Betty Davis was, a, like, I've seen a lot of Betty Davis movies, and I had never seen that one, and it was, she's a, so astounding, like, it, indescribably good. One of those, uh, those roles that is, like, after you've had a big career, and you gotta go off and do something else. Um, Joan Crawford's also amazing. She's, she's equally good, but in a very different way. Okay, we got two more. Okay, we got more. There we go. We'll throw the hay in now. So what do we got? 505. Oh, we're still gonna... We, we continually have to go buy more hay. I think that the hatch on that still kind of appears transparent? Translucent? Whatever that is. Okay, let's load up the recycling again. I still... I, I'm in the middle of I'm watching that uh, Trog movie. Joan Crawford's last movie, which is a, a really bizarre movie, and I, I, it's not like it's not pressing. It's not one of those emotionally taught dramas I need to watch in one sitting. You can definitely split that one up over uh, multiple viewings over several weeks, and you're not going to really lose too much. But no matter what, the, like it's astounding how good those actresses were. But Betty Davis is something else. That's just it's a whole other level of bananas. That is like a, definitely, I can see why a lot of people know Betty Davis from that role. It is a, a astoundingly good performance. Yeah, I, I don't, I think I often don't like the character she plays, but as an actress, she's uh, something else. She's so good. Okay, do we, are we ditching refined chords or what am I doing with it? Do we, okay, there we go. Another 300. I think I looked at some point what this stuff sells for. I keep like on and off selling it and then keeping it, selling it, then keeping it. I'm kind of undecided. No idea what I did with the... It's found food. Did I put them in here? Nope. Eh, oh well. Okay, so we had a little a little bit of gold bar there. Um, it was, wasn't all like 180 more wood, so it's not like it was that much more wood that's worth doing anything with. Uh, we almost have... Whatever, we had 182 of the Omni Geodes, which is getting us close to being able to buy another, I think, hat for one of the kids or something. Too bad we can't get Penny into the hats. Uh, 125 on the Batwing, so we gotta wait a while on those still before we can get another uh, batter, whatever, uh, butterfly hutch. Um, somebody noted that you could wear the mayor shorts after you find them. I did not know you could do that. That is really weird. <laughs> kind of amazing, kind of horrifying. Well, you know, all, all things. Um, and also, I wanted to see, what did the green tea... Yeah, there we go. Okay, so the green tea sells for 100 bucks a cup. Not bad. Um, where's the green tea leaf? There it is. And the, the leaves sell for 50 So definitely, if you're selling it, way better. Oh, hold up. How many leaves do you need per? Is it one per? I don't remember. I, th I think it must be. It's got to be. Because we only had one that we picked. Unless it comes in groups, but I think it's one per. So 100 bucks for that. How much does a cup of coffee go for? Uh, but but um, um, Where is coffee? Hey, coffee's not even on this list, is it? Well, that is weird. Was coffee like a cook thing? No, that's... Huh. 
I never noticed it before. Let's see, maybe it's in cooking. Oh, it is in cooking. Triple shot. Sells for 450 bucks, but then it's about, what is it, five beans? Uh, or how many cups of coffee to go one of those? And then it's five, five beans for a cup of coffee. Five beans for a cup of coffee, and it's how many cups of coffee to make that? It's... Um, where did we make these? It's, it's so funny. I like... Yeah, it's in here, isn't it? I continually forget. It's three coffee. Three coffee, so it's like 15 beans for 450, which is like 30 bucks a bean, if that I'm not mistaken. Unlike the green tea, which would be 100 bucks a leaf, maybe? If I, but I'm not 100% sure that was one per, anyway, the math. I don't know what's actually lucrative, although I feel like I'd still make more coffee. At any rate, we will see you all next time. Till then, bye-bye.